I'm gonna explain why right now uh, I'm living my dream. And I live in the house of my parents and am not rich. And still feel like I'm living my best life. We're gonna talk about that right now. So you know that I'm gonna assume that other people have this feeling, but like you know, like when you're a, when you want to be a lawyer, you fantasize about being in court cases, right? And when you want to be a doctor, you fantasize about and and I use that word fantasize uh, lightly, but you you dream about curing someone or something of the sorts. Well, when you're a documentarian, you dream about making a documentary and all the the whole process of that and the creation of it and being in your dungeon, which is what I call the studio in my basement, doing audio and buying equipment at Best Buy to do such things. And I'm doing that every day and it's fucking awesome. If you'll excuse me, I gotta get the hat. Oh yeah. Oh, loud ass desk. Hello, I, that's gotta go. Alrighty, so the other day, um, I hung out with my buddy Josh Chuba, and he is helping me narrate my documentary. So we were going to have a sesh yesterday where we wanted to get a lot of that done, and it ended up getting canceled, but I bought this mic the day before that at Best Buy um, just to have better audio quality for the documentary as well as my podcast. So that was a pretty cool thing. Uh, I've been investing a ton of my money back into my business so I can help create better products. I'm, it, I have this thing where I, ha I have this f thing with money where I'm always afraid to part ways with it. There's, there's been very few times where I make purchases and I don't have buyer's remorse just because I get scared that the money I spent won't end up being worth what I spent. All these things end up helping um, my, me now. And one thing that I'm learning is that sometimes that you have to just spend money to to make more money later and i talked about this in my solo podcast but like i want it i want money to be something i never think about and um because i think about it so much now and that's taxing <laughs> this was a funny thing that happened so i had to drop my mom off at a doctor's appointment last week and <laughs> this was funny so i went down there with my camera i got some time lapses just because i haven't done that in a long time and i plugged in my like lav mic so i plugged it into the camera put it under my shirt attached it right here and gave this whole like speech <laughs> and it was just like a way for me to update you guys on what's been going on lately <laughs> which is kind of what i'm doing now but None of the I think that microphone broke because none of the audio like saved at all I'm definitely like obsessed with Chicago like I've been here a couple times this summer and like to the city and It's reinvigorated my passion um, for this city. So Why not give a life update? Here, you know, it's only fitting so One thing I've been doing a lot more of lately is one being more consistent with my output of content. So I'm making sure that every Wednesday I post a podcast, every Saturday I post a vlog, and in between those, I will take the podcast and the vlog and turn them into snippets and stuff for content, such as my new favorite platform, TikTok, which I'm now on, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put all those in the corner over here so you can follow me on there. But basically, I'm kind of reinvigorating my brand, which is, obviously documenting my quote unquote gap year. By the way, gap year is just a metaphor for like the journey I'm currently on. So like I'm not confining this gap year to a single year, but anyways, that's a whole other tangent. Basically, I'm just documenting my progress and my goals. And pretty soon I'm gonna start talking more about uh, the businesses and I'm starting in the names that I have for them and all that. Actually later today in a podcast that I'm recording, I plan on unveiling all that information like officially. So, well anyways, look out for my new content and stuff. Um, look out, I'm planning an event at Lake Theater under one of the new companies that I'm starting. So we're gonna learn more about that as that event um, for premiering my first documentary 
gets realized and the, we have a date and I start announcing stuff and putting out trailers on social media and shit. So I'm basically like back at a point now where like I'm the most passionate I've ever been about what I do. And it's, I just had a conversation with my buddy, Will. It's all about empowerment, breaking barriers for people to do the stuff that I'm doing now. So like filmmaking is very, as Casey Neistat would put it, filmmaking is a sport now. And that's a lot, a lot of that you can point to him and say, you made the, you made the barrier to entry into filmmaking easier. You made, it, you made it shorter. So like I started filmmaking two years ago with like a crappy little camera and I just started posting videos on YouTube. But like t 30 years ago, you had to like, really the only outlet was like Blockbuster and TV to get your stuff on. So like just constantly shortening that barrier into filmmaking and into creation and even into entrepreneurship, which is something that I'm um, incorporating into my message. All that stuff I'm trying to make easier for people. And may, it may just seem like I'm some like small YouTuber, like little college kid, like documenting his gap here, but like I do have big plans and I'm, we're gonna talk about them more in the podcast later today that I record. But yeah, I'm just super invigorated right now. I'm passionate right now and I'm, I feel inspired and motivated, you know, especially when I'm, out here in the city, so.